Hello, we are Team Electrics. Our project is to design a method to measure impedance per seismograph. We have studied about sensors, devices, and researchers to collect some information regarding in this area of interest. This is our team. Our team mentor is Dr. Ruan Branavira, a senior lecturer at Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering of University of Peradeni. Our team leader is Dinit Maya Dunna, and our team members are Nimesh Senanayak and Ashini Senara, respectively. First of all, we have addressed the problem. Then we have investigated the problem, and this is the path that we are going to proceed in this presentation. The apparatus we are going to build is a volume sensor for electrical impedance perismograph, which measures impedance signal and plot its volume against impedance measurement. By investigating the plots, we can identify any abnormalities in blood vessels if there is any. There are some major diseases which are causing abnormalities. Such diseases are peripheral artery disease, cartoid artery disease, arteriovenous malformation, and deep vein thrombosis. By using this method, such abnormalities can be identified and even in domestically. If the measured values are not in the normal range, such person can be directed for medical assistance. Impedance perismography could be a means of measuring changes of tissue volume with the body. It may also be a non-innovative method for measuring changes in pulsatile cerebral blood volume and maybe cerebral blood flow, continuous or serial. The method of measuring process is as follows. Initially, the four electrodes will be placed on the lower lip. Two voltage electrodes will be surrounded by the two current flow electrodes. And we are expected to use gold bioelectrodes to ensure good conductivity and their low reactivity when in contact with human body. Then a sinusoidal current will be passed through the current electrodes and voltage difference will be measured. Then the blood volume flow will be measured using Nibos formula. In this project, we have used the Nibos formula as our main theory. Generally, in the impedance plethysmography, the blood volume change, delta Vb, with the changes in electrical impedance, delta Ez, is governed by Nibos formula. Here, it shows the Nibos formula. It shows that delta Vb equals rho times L squared over Z naught squared times delta Z, where rho is the resistivity of blood and L is the length between the voltage sensing electrodes and Z naught is the initial value of the electrical impedance of the body segment. Delta Vb is the blood volume change. Delta Z is the change in electrical impedance. Furthermore, Measurement of arterial blood pulsation by the impedance method should be independent of the resistivity of the mass of tissue and non pulsatile blood, dependent only on parallel impedance and the length between the inner electrodes. Now we can move on to functional diagram of our project. In here, uh, the process begins with the oscillator. Oscillator generates a voltage signal and then it passes to the converter. The converter converts the voltage into a current. Then the current signal is fed through the electrode cuffs. To the limb segment and then uh, due to the impid impedance change of the limb the impedance signal is detected by a differential amplifier 
and then the processed signal is passed to the band reject filter for the filtering purpose then the signal is fed to the full wave demodulator for the demodulating after that the resultant signal is passed to the band pass filter then the signal is next fed to the gain selective amplifier after that a voltage signal of the limb segment can be obtained this voltage signal can be used to data processing and validation of blood flow this is the expected final setup of our design the red color box shows the sensor design and the sensor produces a current to the limb segment via electrode cups. The blue color box is the voltage to current converter. And, and the converter converts the signal into a current signal. The output signal is fed to an oscillator. This is the model we are expecting to use for the calibration process. The model is expected to accurately reproduce the changes in volume and ionic content of the limb segment in response to arterial blood flow. A model with a 33 cm long plastic cylinder, 9 cm inner diameter, closed at both ends, and fitted with four 6 mm wide movable stainless steel band electrodes surrounding the inner diameter. A movable rigid plastic tube, 5 mm outer diameter, is expected to be installed in all shaped rings centered at each end of the cylinder. These tubes are expected to be adjusted so that the ends are positioned directly beneath the inner band electrodes. Dialysis tubing is expected to be fastened between the ends of these tubes to provide a flexible semi-permeable artificial artery. An electric syringe pump with variable frequency and injected volume are expected to be connected via a three-way stopcock to the 5 mm tube protruding from one end of the model. A blood fluid reservoir is expected to be connected to the intake sides of the pump. A stopcock and collection vessel are expected to be connected to the 5 mm tube protruding from the other end of the model. The space surrounding the dialysis tubing is supposed to be filled with saline soaked natural sea sponges to more nearly simulate tissue and to minimize standing waves within the tissue fluid. So, these are our input output characteristic graphs. The first graph is for measured volume versus injected volume and the second one is for measured volume and measured voltage so we can reverse this data to actual limb segment data there there we input uh, voltage and we can get the volume measurement of these graphs and we can say whether they have any abnormalities let's talk about strength of our design this method is less time consuming and less complicated method so we we can easily use this method at our home and see whether we have any abnormalities. If there are abnormalities, we can go to hospital or we can say to a doctor and uh, we can get the proper medicines. So, and we can improve this model to any limb segment with any diameter and any length and any variation of blood resistivity. To do this process in efficient and improved manner, these are our suggestions. This design we develop only for selected groups, but we can improve it to all people and also ionic content of our blood varies due to another disease. So we can't get the correct reading. We are trying to improve this to, to overcome this problem. And this have a methodological process that limb must be horizontal when the reading is taken. So we are trying to solve this problem and try to develop this is to a portable device and thank you for everyone for hearing us uh, actually we couldn't develop 
a physical instrument due to lack of resources, technology, and this COVID-19 pandemic situation. So sorry for that. And that's it. Thank you again and have a nice day.